the epistle of Paul to the Romans. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, put apart to preach the gospel of God, which he hath promised before by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared mightily to be the Son of God, touching the spirit of sanctification by the re resurrection from the dead, <clears throat> by whom we have received grace and apostleship, that obedience might be given unto the faith in his name among all the Gentiles, among whom ye be also the called of Jesus Christ. To all you that be at Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace be with you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, because your faith is published throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve in my spirit, in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I may mention of you. <clears throat> Always in my prayers, beseeching that by some means, one time or another, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, that I might bestow amongst you some spiritual gift <clears throat> to strengthen you. That is, that I might be con comforted together with you through our mutual faith, both yours and mine. Now, my brethren, I would that ye should not be ignorant how that I have oftentimes purposed to come unto you, but have been led hither un hitherto, that I might have some fruit also among you, as I have among the other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Grecians and to the barbarians, both to the wise men and unto the unwise. Therefore, as much in me, as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you also that are at Rome, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Grecian. For by, for by it the righteousness of God is revealed, from faith to faith, as it is writ, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, which withhold the truth in unrighteousness. For as much as ye which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him, that is, his eternal power and Godhead are seen by the creation of the world being considered in his works to the intent that they should be without excuse because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was full of darkness. <clears throat> when they professed themselves to be wise, they became fools for they turned the glory of the incorruptible God into the similitude of the imaginable of the image of corruptible man and of birds and of four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore also God gave them up to their hearts lusts unto uncleanness to defile their own bodies between themselves, which turned the truth of God unto a lie and worshipped and served the creature, the creature, forsaking the creator, which is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. 
And likewise, also the men left the natural use of the woman and burned in their lust one toward another. And man with man wrought filthiness and received in themselves such recompense of their error as, which, as was meet. And for as they regarded not to know a God, even so God delivered them up unto a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being full of all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, of murder, of debate, of deceit, taking all things in the evil part, <clears throat> whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, doers of wrong, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, such as can never be <clears throat> appeased, merciless, which men, though they knew the law of God, how that they which commit such things are worthy of death, yet not only do the same, but also favor them that do them. The end of chapter one.